Good morning. A little bit of a cloudy morning. Pretty good rain last night. We, uh, me and Buddy are gonna head up right now after he dumps out the uh, dog's water dish. He said the water was too yucky. We're gonna head up. We're gonna let the chickens out. My dad's going around right now with a guy from town that uh, does the uh, steel recycling stuff. Our neighbor from up the road here is doing the eaves troughing on the wife's uh, greenhouse. So he should have that probably done today. Yeah, I'm not too sure what we're gonna do. I think I might tackle the rollers in that roller mill depending on if I can get the bearings off or, or need to go get new ones, but we'll see. So today we got a lot more problems. These uh, stupid uh, spindles, they uh, they often break. So uh, I do have one here, luckily. So uh, we got the deck out of the lawnmower and we got this off. I just gotta pound the uh, <clears throat> bearings out of here on that shaft that the blade goes on to and then I'm gonna put it back together. Of course the one I have isn't new, but uh, because we're salvagers here, we, uh, we'll put it on until it breaks for sure. The old YT-150 Husqvarna is like 30 years old, so <clears throat> it's uh, kind of a miracle that it works at all. All right, so me and Buddy took the uh, lawnmower out, made a few rounds. It actually looks like it's cutting pretty level, which is kind of funny because it's not like even close to what the book says. But I guess one thing <clears throat> that uh, that mower deck that's on there is not even the right one. The old uh, the old deck was suffered quite a bit of abuse over its 30 year life. So uh, what actually happened? My brother's lawnmower cratered, so and it had a good deck. So all that kind of craftsman, yardmaster, Husqvarna junk. That's all. Actually, Husqvarna's pretty good, but uh, that it all kind of all mixes and matches, right? Their parts are kind of the same, and a couple minor tweaks here and there. But <clears throat> with a cut and torch and a welder you can pretty much make it fit so that's what I did and uh, seems to be going pretty good so for free we kept the old Husqvarna running me and buddy now though we're gonna take the uh, disc up and we're gonna disc my dad did do some plowing up by the bins so we're gonna take the disc up we're gonna disc that up you can't see what all right well we're in Gus now we got him running and uh, going to head over and work up that disc game.
like the same spot several times. I can see why when they do this, they they want a big heavy uh, like a braking disc. But uh, this is what we have, and this I don't I really like this disc. Uh, serrated blades maybe would be a benefit for something like this. I don't know. These are smooth, but uh, it's a good heavy disc. I guess if you were doing the whole field, yeah, it would be kind of frustrating because you'd have to do it two or three times. But, uh, you know, this small area, you know, I, I think it's going to work out pretty nice. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna keep going here, round and round and round for another hour or so, and then see what it looks like then. This uh, John Deere cultivator, it was another piece that was on the farm. Uh, we, didn't, uh, we didn't buy it. Uh, like on its own so uh, we have used it a few times I, I don't know what year it is but it's uh it actually does a pretty nice job if you have the ground ground work pretty good it's got a lot of shovels it's like a light duty field cultivator so uh, our plan is to actually find a Valmar and then we're gonna put the Valmar on it so we can put uh, granular uh, herbicide down like edge and stuff like that so I just went up and got it after I finished moving those bales. Um, this tractor is a little too small for this cultivator, obviously, but I don't have it in very deep, and I just wanted to uh, make sure that it, you know, went up and down and folded in and out before I took it down to the shop. We're gonna take it down there and check the wheel, wheel bearings and stuff like that. I bought uh, some cultivator shovels, like a whole bunch from the neighbor. He was selling a bunch of ones. I don't think they fit his machine anymore. So I bought all them up, and I think they, there's enough quick, like quick chain shovel uh, wedges in there that'll actually fit on this cultivator. So that's another thing we want to check out because right now it has just bolt-on ones, and that's okay, I guess. But it's it's easier if you can just climb under there with a hammer and knock them off as opposed to climb under there with a wrench and spend spend all that time under there whacking away at it. And, you know, the, the nuts and bolts are usually rounded off from being in the dirt and on and on and on so they're rusted on but uh so that's my plan here now i'm just going to uh make a loop here and wing this up and because i'm right i'm getting right to the approach so uh once i get it into the yard i'm going to wing it down again and have a look and see just what shape it's in 